Happy sunshine, boys and girls. This lunacy back here. We are continuing with the forensic examination of one of the eclipse photographs that I took. And if you'll remember in the last video, I duplicated a layer. I set the mode to value. I went to colors, levels, took the gamma down, and we ended up with this image. And this is the point where I'm going to pick up, uh, we're going to say OK to that. And this is the point where I'm going to pick up the, the forensic examination. Uh, if you go to colors and curves, something really interesting happens here. Uh, you can actually... What I need to do first is I need to come back into levels. I want to show you that you can pull out uh, the R, G, and B all separately. And look at this. You can really just mess with one channel at a time. And look at these greens that are popping out when I do that. It's just, it's stunning. So I like the red about there. Let's uh, have the green in. All right, I kind of like that. And now the blue, I like the blue really. We really have, oh, look at that. So the blue lightened up. Yeah, that brings a lot of detail in this uh, halo. So, okay, we're going to say OK to that, and now we're going to come back over to these curves. Now, this was really, really interesting. Uh, you can set each one of these curves by color as well. Ooh, look at that. And blue. Which one brings more detail to my eyes? A light or the dark? Probably the dark. Okay, now we're going to go back up to the value and this is on a smooth curve, but, but look at this. We're going to do a freehand curve. Now just watch, watch what happens. So I want to reset that. Oh, where was I? Was I here when I was doing the, the freehand curve? Oh, I got a. Oh, you can put second points on there. Oh, nice. All right. Well, let's go to freehand curve. There we go. That's. This is kind of what I wanted to show you. I don't remember what what quite settings I had when I made this photo here, but look look at this. Adjusting those curve lines like that, I found a way to get just this nice black edge here, and nothing's following the contour of, of any opaque body. I mean, this picture here is just about telling me, wow, that is proof that the moon does not cause solar eclipse. And we can see that we, we're getting the same sort of line in here. I've just got a, a different curves going. Uh, let's see, green, freehand. Let's see, let's reset that channel, value, reset. We're going to reset all of these. And go to value, we're going to do this freehand. There we go. There we go, guys. Look at that. Oh, wow.
Let's export that one. Holy cow, that is a beauty. Uh, uh, this is Eclipse uh, Color Curves. Export. Uh, let's do no compression. I want to see the full detail of this. Wow. Okay. No. All right. So here, here's what we just made, boys and girls. Look at this. There we go. You know, <laughs> NASA calls their ISS transit the photo of a lifetime. Guys, this is a photo of a lifetime here. Not claiming that I'm the first one to prove that, wow, there's no moon detectable in a solar eclipse, but to prove that to myself, guys, I reclaimed so much of my power through this whole process. Gosh, look at this. There's no opaque body crossing in front of the moon. Wow, look at that. All right, if you've got any love lighter links in this matter, send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E at protonmail.com. I uh, love you lots. See you on the next one.